Against all odds and amid continued shelling, farmers in Ukraine are planting new seeds, planning for their next harvest in an uncertain future. Some of their fields are littered with unexploded mines, and much of their equipment has been destroyed in the fighting. The situation now is that we don't have machines, says this farm employee. We recovered the land that's not mined where we can work, but not the machines because they were mostly destroyed. The main equipment is all destroyed. Here in the outskirts of the second largest city, Kharkiv, this work continues in the shadow of the war. There are a lot of holes, says this tractor driver. The whole farmland is full of holes. We don't have strikes right now, but in other fields there is shelling and there are rockets on the ground. We drive past. What else can we do? But there may not be room to store the next harvest. Ukraine has been unable to ship millions of tons of grain that remains stuck in silos as Russian warships block its ports in the Black Sea. Moscow on Wednesday said it has reopened the southern port of Mariupol after taking control of the Ukrainian city. Before the Russian invasion, Ukraine was seen as the world's breadbasket, accounting for 12 percent of global wheat exports, 15 percent of corn, and half of sunflower oil. The ongoing conflict has worsened a global food crisis and led to accusations that Russia is using hunger as a bargaining chip.